Hi everyone, so this is the A1 Maths Quadratics Pack for the update in 2023, September 2023. So this is our first lesson for it, so let's have a look at it then. So it's talking first of all, well it's about completing the square, but before we do that, uh, it's just a little bit of algebra just to remember, uh, see if you can remember the stuff from school. So if I quickly zip through it, if it's divide by 2, I can see it as times by a half, so it gives me 3 over 10. So another one here, so divide by 3, so I've got 6 over 5 times a third. So what's quite nice is a 6 and a 3 cancel, and that just gives me 2 fifths. Yeah. So some questions for you, so if you have a go at those and just check these answers, make sure that they're okay. Right, next one then. So these are all, it's, you might think, why are we doing this now? Well, this is stuff which people get wrong in the exam. You've had all summer on it's dead easy to forget stuff like this. Right, so squaring fractions, you square the 3, everybody does, but you also square the 2, which people forget. So that's 9 over 4. Same with this, square the 5 is 25, but you square the 4 as well to give you 16. So that's straightforward, but it's, just, it's the daft mistakes we make. People multiply top and bottom by 3 on this next one, but you don't, you just times the top by 3. But in fact, in this case, the 3 cancels with a 9 anyway, so I've just got 25 over 3. There. But people get a bit carried away with it. Uh, same with this one, the 5 cancels with the 100. Give us the 9 over 20. Right, so let's think about completing the square. So hopefully at school you've all done this. And you all, first of all, slightly rewrote this. So the x goes down, I half the middle number, the b, so that gives me a 2. That's all squared. And then I take away this bit squared, the 2 squared. So I take away the 4. So I half that number, and I take away the square with a plus 11. So then that gives me an x plus 2, all squared, plus 7. So hopefully you've done that. You might have done it a slightly different way, but hopefully you've done that. There's a question for you. So same idea, hopefully. So you put the x down, half it is a minus 4. Then you always take away that number squared. So you always, always take away that number. So even though it's a minus and you think, oh yeah, if I square it, it's a plus, it doesn't matter. You've got that extra, so you're taking it away. Right. So we've got another example here. So the first and two up there, the had even numbers. This one's got an odd number. It's important to think in fractions. So it's be a minus 3 over 2, all squared if I half it. But I need to square the minus 3 over 2 and take it away, which is minus 9 over 4, plus 7. There. So I've got x minus 3 over 2, all squared. 7 is the same as 28 over 4. So I've got minus 9 plus 28. What's that going to be? Plus 19 over 4? There. There. But you've got to be careful with it, really, really careful. One for you to do, so you'll have an x with a 5 over 2, then you'll square the 5 over 2 and you're taking away 25 over 4. Your 6 is the same as 24 over 4, so you've got minus 25, minus 24, there's a minus 49. If you can read it, that should be minus 49 over 4. So hopefully you're okay with that. And these are dead important. Completing the square is ridiculously important. Right, so we've got some further completing the squares. So what I'm tempted to do, like the vids can be 10 minutes long, but I'm tempted to stop this one at 5 minutes and do another one. Right. 